Hi, my name is Atama. I'm an indigenous person from Sabah, Malaysia. I identify myself as a Dayak of Borneo and I just want to say Adil Katalino Bacuramin Kasaroga Pasangat Kajumbata. It's our traditional greeting for all of you watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, indigenous culture, uh, indigenous uh, knowledge, and addressing climate change. Um, what's the connection? What's the importance? Food, nutrition, energy, spiritual nourishment of whatever we eat. We eat whatever we plant. If we don't plant it, nature has planted it for us and it becomes our supermarket in the forest. So we are the defenders of the rainforest and the rainforest provides for us the food, the water, and the nutrients, including medicine, herbs, and as well as sacred plants for us to perform rituals, ceremonies, and to keep in touch with Mother Nature through the energies of Mother Nature wherever we have contact with them in the land, in the oceans, in the forest, on mountains, in the air as well. So tell us a bit more about your culture, uh, Malaysia. So what's the history of your tribe? Right. So Malaysia is a federation of nations um, who have achieved self-government. Uh, I come from a nation called um, the British North Borneo and uh, we were a colony of the British until 1962 where we began to assert our self-determination and by 1963 we became Sabah, Sabah and also we achieved our um, how do you say nationhood of Malaysia by forming the Federation of Malaysia alongside with the Federated Malay States of Peninsula Malaysia and the nation state of Sarawak. So today, Sabah, Sarawak and the Federated States of Peninsula Malaysia represent or I represent Malaysia. So that's a story, a little story about Malaysia. And so the Sabah population uh, are coastal uh, populations, right? And directly uh, affected by uh, climate change and the threat of uh, sea level rise. That is correct. Um, indigenous peoples of Sabah also live along the coast. We live in the forest. Uh, we also live in the hills and also on islands. Sabah is the northernest part of the island of Borneo. And when I say island, it's surrounded by water. Uh, and so, what's your, um, what's your relationship with nature when you say that you have a spiritual relationship, uh, a spiritual uh, connection mm -hmm. with nature? How do you live this in your everyday lives and, and what are the stories behind it? Let me tell you a very short description about food. Rice is a staple diet of our peoples. We plant it and after we harvest the paddy, we have ceremonies called the uh, kaamatan or the respect to the paddy spirit called bambarayon. Yes, we believe that the rice is alive through its spirit. And when we eat the rice, we also have the spiritual enrichment apart from the nutrients of the rice entering into our body that is the first connection. So when you were born, when I was born as a baby, when I received the rice in my body, I connected to the spirit of nature, especially to the spirit of the rice and called the Bambarayon. And today, I attend the Harvest Festival every year because it reminds us indigenous peoples of North Borneo. We are the Dusuns, the Kadazans, and the Dayak people. That's why we have this annual festivals and it's, it is compulsory. 
to, to celebrate, to remind us about the enrichment of food uh, from the rice and our connection to the land. One day, if our forests and our paddy fields are gone because of the need for um, other types of food apart from rice. So you we, have notably a lot of palm oil production yes. in, uh, in Malaysia. So uh, palm oil, as many of us know, um, is one of the most used oils by uh, big multinational corporations, big food distributors. That's right. And uh, Malaysia uh, has unfortunately lost uh, over 80% of its um, um, virgin forest That's coverage, right. uh, right. lost it to uh, monocultured uh, palm, palm oil plantations. Yes, that is right. And where, where there is palm oil, there is conflicts between the indigenous peoples and the multinational corporations because we need the land for our food. They need the land for the oil and they sell it but it's at the price of not just biodiversity it's at the price of food so if we have lost our lands what are we gonna eat and how are we gonna continue living with nature so that is how we are connected to this debate on climate change because we are indigenous peoples and uh, we, I, we identify ourselves as holders of traditional knowledge because we know that food and everything alive in nature has a spirit and we are connected to it. But thinking about our participation in COP, we are sending a message to, to the parties to give indigenous peoples a space, reinforce that space, support that space, and maybe donate some funds to that space so that we can participate in the COP and we can bring in our traditional knowledge and share it with all of you. I'm gonna drop you something very cool. It's something about food, but I have to put on my shades because this is my um, MC mode. Yo, it's like a transformation just like that, right? So check this. Fine things like Tu Hao and Lomi Ding are things that makes me do some men sing. So when I hear Francis Landon brings, I think about the Bosso and Kinnering. Fine tunes just like Puerto the Popo, don't compare to Pork and Soko. Just like the Nonsome and the Bosso, travel folks live it down on a low. I just described to you some of our traditional food like the Soko. Soko is the bamboo shoot. And Lomi Ding. Lomi Ding is a traditional food. And yeah, that is how cool we are when we describe this traditional food in a rhyme like that. Uh, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> hey, well, can you drop us a rhyme in your in your native language? Yeah, and can I put this shit on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do okay. it, do it, do it, do it. So this one's dedicated to everybody watching this. This is Atama Katama coming to you live all the way from Cup 23. I'm from Sabah, Malaysia. This one's dedicated to you. Check this out. Kopi vosian kon sikaan komedia zu koma topinai ku doid nombor nopo iti no hosok do hip hop koma dia zu an san topinai asa nang gina vo izo i atama imcd tazak hubungan pogun toko om kada ko iya katama zau omokon mega kopi zak nombor songian kanu zau manandak it means let me start this rhyme with Kopi Vosian to the people of the world, especially Asians. From yep. the hip hop warriors of the Sabahan land. Uh. 32 tribes of my headhunting clan. Uh. My name is Atama, I'm the MC of the pack. What? Prince of the land, and I'm the king of the Mac. Uh -huh. Ready to flow, I don't cut any slack. Cause anytime, anyway, I'm ready to attack. I got this new sound and I got this new beat. Village melodies and rhythms of the street. Sumazao music is not obsolete. It takes hip hop to make it more complete. So come on, everybody, throw your hands in the air. Do the sumas out like you just don't care make you feel good nothing else can compare my name is atama somebody say oh yeah ah uh. but second verse is gonna get tougher my rain plans change because times got rougher open your mind focus your attention i gotta mention some complication about the tribal kids in my tribal nation they walk five miles for the education they go to school with blistered feet sub got no birth certificate no food to eat because the rainforest is dying it's gone forever logging and corruption destroyed it together illegal 
logs stored in illegal shipyards just wait to be sold like illegal makas. But I flow with the rhythms of the tabasan, like the dusun murts, dayak, and gadazans. Atukoi, this beat so good. Do that sa azau, cause you know you could. Yeah, 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 yo! Yeah. Hey, bring it to you live for the OCA here at COP23, the uh, United Nations Climate Summit. Um, thank you very much. You're most welcome, man. <laughs> Long live indigenous peoples, fight for the climate justice because all of us are the defenders of climate justice. Climate justice now. And you know what I learned from Germany? Was? Keep the oil in the soil. Uh, 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 uh. Keep the tar in the sand. Uh, 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 uh. Keep the coal in the hole. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And join us and take control. Yes. Hey. Thank you, my man. Hey, thank you. This is for the um, Indigenous Populations Day uh, here at the uh, UNFCCC uh, Conference uh, of All Parties. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, if you want to know more about uh, organic food uh, and uh, organic agriculture, you can uh, text BYTES at B-Y-T-E-S on 9779 and you can follow us on Twitter at Organic Consumer and sign up to our newsletter on OrganicConsumer.org. My man, thank you so much. Right. And yeah, before we go, what the head is that? Okay. This, this is a kamburongo. This is a, a herb, but this herb is, it's a root and this is where my spiritual guardians live. And I brought the sacred item with me to cop and I brought my guardian uh, to come over here and be with us here on Indigenous Peoples Day. Connection to the rainforest, connection of indigenous peoples. That's how it's done.